Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, all right, let's get in uh, to today's show. This is the second show of today. We're going to get into this Hester victory over Jojo Diaz and what was, again, uh, a pretty entertaining fight, um, to say the least. Um, you know, the card didn't go exactly as we wanted, <clears throat> as uh, Zoto Ramirez missed weight by 12 pounds. Um yeah, there, there, there was nothing to write home about on the undercard, was there? Durante uh, defeats Alex Martin. Good fight. Stopped him. Um, and, and what was a pretty close fight. Um, all right. Let's get it. Um, that was a pretty good fight. Durante and Alex Martin was pretty good. All right. Let's get into the uh, – let, let, well – Let's get into the main event. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Two episodes today. Uh, please remember to uh, also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Um. So, Jojo Diaz, I, I think, was the story of the night here. Um, you know, Hester did what he did. He threw in combinations. He was active. He had jabs. He was quick. Jojo Diaz looked to be a hundred years old. Like if you were to ask me how old Jojo Diaz is, there's no way I would have said that man's 30 years old. That's all he is. <clears throat> that dude. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, sir. That dude looked like he was a hundred years old in there. He looked slow. He looked mechanical. You know, he, he was never a, 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 a lightning fast guy, right? Um, but he was skillful. He had reflexes. He could do things. He just looked like an old guy, you know, trying to pressure someone to go. But he's an Olympian. He's got skills. You didn't see any of that today. You know, he showed you a little bit, was able to cut off the ring a little bit. Uh, but Hester outworked him, out hustled him, outlanded him. He couldn't time Hester, and he landed good shots, and the fight was close, right? But Jojo Diaz should walk through Hester, and I think Hester's a good fighter. Um, but I, I think the story of the night was just Jojo Diaz is totally shot. You know, I don't think Jojo Diaz was ever a 135-pound, and this was at somewhere, this was at 139, right? I, I don't think he should have ever been at that weight. Um you know, look, he, he fights everyone. His, his last three fights before this was Fortuna, Haney, and Zepeda. And before that, he fought Rakamov. And before that, he fought Farmer. Right? Like, full credit to Jojo Diaz. A warrior in the ring, no doubt. Right? He fights everyone. Uh, but he looked shot tonight. That was not a good performance. That was not good at all. Uh, you remember, it wasn't that long ago. A year and a half ago, I picked him. To beat Devin Haney. Now, he up short, um, by eight to four in that fight, I think it was, but he won a couple rounds. Like, I don't know that he won four rounds in this fight. Like, he has lost something quickly. Like, he just looks old and shot and mechanical and slow. Like, it was a terrible performance from Jojo Diaz. And it was unfortunate to see. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, it's, it's three years ago. His fight with Tevin Farmer, I thought that was the performance of the year in 2020. He was not going to be denied that night. He was on his mama mentality. That was shortly after the, the, the mama died. He, he was on his game that night. Um, This was the polar opposite of that. I mean, he looked so bad. I, I don't know if he can get with a nutritionist, uh, if he, he can get down to 130 again. Um, you know, But I, I, I think 130 is a much better weight for him. <clears throat> to be honest, I, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just don't think that one thirty-five is, is a sustainable weight for him. Uh, I, I, he looks slow, right? He doesn't look cut up or lean. Like he looks flabby. He looks loose. He just doesn't look to be in his bishop. Now, he's big. He's heavy boned. Like, I, I, I don't know. 
But at 135, he's not it. Like, he doesn't look good at 135. I don't know if you could get him down to 30. I don't know. You slim him down. He's at 139. He's 10 pounds over. I, I, but can we kind of transform him? Can we rebuild him? That's kind of what I'm asking. Um, he has to look good. He has to do what he had to do. He has to throw in combination. He has to work off the back foot. He kept moving. He, he landed clean shots. He, he had hurt Diaz in some spots. Diaz had a great third round. Um, he had won a couple rounds late. I uh, had it 7 3. Has to have y'all have it. I, I can see it close, right? With the scorecards, it was just like none of the scorecards are really good. Um, 8 to 2, okay. 9 to 1 is far too wide. Like Diaz clearly won more than just the third round. That was Alejandro Rosin's card. He is one of the worst judges in the world. Um, he, he's infamous for scoring a uh, wilder. Over Fury in the first fight. That's his claim to fame. I mean, he is a horrible judge. I was just terrible. At that. Probably the worst in the sport. Um, then it was so it was nine one and eight two in 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 favor of um, Hester, and then the third judge had seven three in favor of Diaz. And that ain't right either. You could probably get it to five five if you wanted to. Yeah, I think it's somewhere between seven three and five seven three, um, for a Hesta and a, and a draw somewhere in that range is the right score, and none of them got in that right range there. Um, but we're gonna see Diaz again. He fights everyone. He's with Golden Boy. They get guys. You're probably gonna see him against Kid Schofield at some point. Kid Austin, Floyd Schofield. You're going to see him again. The question is, can they get him below 135? If they can, I think he can be competitive. And I want to see that. Or he's just going to be a, a, a gatekeeper at 35. Now, Hester, Hester goes on to fight something else. Who does he go on to fight? I don't know. You know, um, 135 is, is a changing division, right? Like, it, it, it's – um. He, he was kind of like an afterthought that was supposed to be a win today for Jojo Diaz to get Jojo back on the right track. It didn't go that way. Um, Durante, it was, it, would you guys be interested in that? Can you fight Durante? Jermaine Ortiz, I mean, there's names out there. Uh, Giovanni Cabrera, that's a different promotional side. But there are names out there, which I, I'd like to see him in with. Um, Jorge Linares is it, it, Jorge Linares is. I don't want to see that. No, I, 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 he's still active, but I don't. I don't want to see that. You know, the names I gave you, I would like to see. Um, anyone else? Gavin Gwynn? Is that a fight? You know, no. But I mean, those are the names out there. Um, Jermaine Ortiz, I, I, I think is a good fight. Isak Cruz. Well, that's not really makeable. Um, yeah, those, those are the names I'd like to see. I, I, I think Hester's got, got life. Hester's always going to be a, a tough opponent. I don't know how many of these guys at the highest level he beats, uh, but he's going to be competitive. He's going to be competitive. Giovanni Cabrera, Durante. I, I think they make that next. I think they make Hester and Durante next, and I think that's a good fight. Um, I thought Martin was doing well in spots uh, in that fight. He just got knocked out in, in, in a competitive fight. So you could very well get the next Durante and, and, and Martin. I mean, Durante and, and Hester. It's very possible. Um, who's your guys' favorite? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. What do you think of Jojo Diaz? Is is it close to the end for him? Does he have to get under 130 like I'm saying? Um, and where does Hester go from here? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 18th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.